Hey, what's up guys? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're working in Lando Lakes, Florida. We're gonna be doing an HOA, uh, amenity center cleaning. Got a bunch of sidewalks to do. It's all flat work. We do have a canopy to clean as well as the front entrance. Um, this this project here was uh, uh, this project right here was given to me by another company. Uh, they referred this uh, these customers to me because they couldn't um, have access to carry water to get the job done. So uh, you know, I got the rig for it. So I appreciate the need. Uh, the one is with me. We're gonna make a lot of progress today. Hopefully, we can get everything done. Uh, right now, it is. Uh, Almost 8 o'clock, it's 7.50 in the morning, and um, I'll show you guys what we got going on. If you haven't yet, subscribe, like, leave a comment if you got any questions, and hit the bell so we know when I put up a new video. Let's go check the job out. So this is the front entrance here. Uh, we're going to be doing all the flat work. I mean, it's so much, I don't know if I can walk it all and show you guys, but we walk, we're going to do all these sidewalks here. It goes to the end, it goes that way. We're doing uh, next to the entrance outside of these uh, hedges, the sidewalks that goes all the way across up to the next block. Down that way, you got some tennis courts. Uh, we're gonna be cleaning the sidewalks on the outside as well. And on the side where, you know, the people walk to get to the tennis courts. So, um, we're gonna be using both pressure washers today get everything done I'm hoping we can get it all done in one day man I hate to come back to jobs but it is what it is we're gonna have two cameras going today uh, my boy Chris gifted me a GoPro shout out my man Chris with clean streak so I got a GoPro Hero 10 and a GoPro Hero 11 so the one, we have one, I have one. We get maximum footage for you guys and then uh, so we can share it with you. Uh, we're gonna be cleaning up to over here where they have some pavers. We're not gonna clean the pavers. We're just cleaning just the uh, concrete. We got some pickleball going on. Over here, this is the tennis courts. We gonna clean all this concrete here. They have some little small little walkways in between. That goes to the street. We gonna clean those as well. And then I'll show you guys the other side. It's a pretty big project, man. We got more concrete in the back of this uh, pool area in the back. And they have a canopy like this, but it's way, it's like, five times bigger than that <laughs> we gotta clean that up in the back and then we also have to clean the front entrance monument at the front of the property you can see here this concrete is pretty dirty like i said i'm not gonna walk the whole entire thing just want to give you guys a snapshot and then, uh, as we work in we'll show you the progress and what we have this is the main sidewalk that we have to do. It goes like this and it goes through the side of the courts to the next entrance. And over here, we're going all the way up to the next block. So we're gonna clean the front entrance first because they got some people coming later around 10. So we're gonna clean all that first, move the truck uh, to the side over here somewhere. I'm not sure if we're gonna have it. I have uh, 250 feet of um, water hose, so we may be able to put it close to the road so we can uh, work. If not, we may have to work, come back and get water so we can do the outskirts. I mean, I know we have to do that for sure. So maybe the first area over here we can do with an extended water hose, but once we get to the other side of the courts, in the outside areas yeah we're definitely gonna have to come back and get water for sure so y'all stay tuned we're gonna get start working uh, i'm using the mondo the one's gonna use the 18 i'm in the 19 inch uh whistle wash
you guys we are pretty much almost three quarters done with the front uh we had a minor setback which i'm gonna have to stop and go down to ameritech to get a belt for my 12. i had my shoe stuck behind the pressure washer i'm wearing my white boots my black one was behind the pressure washer and i forgot and i just started smelling something and it was the belt <laughs> hitting the the boots i should never had them there but i forgot i put them there last night when i got home when i parked the truck so it chewed the belt the belt up so we gotta go get a new belt uh we, ameritech has them in stock so we go down there and grab a new belt but we'll clean the front of the building because we're gonna have people coming in and out so we want to make sure that area at least is cleaned up before we leave the one is on uh, rinsing right now we got the whole front done we gotta rinse the curbs and then um we'll go ahead and go all the way down to this area here and knock that out before we leave uh ameritech is about give or take 20 25 minutes away from here and uh we've only been working for 37 minutes man we started at eight imagine that belt didn't break um we'd be almost done with the whole front right here but you know things happen i'm glad it happened early so once we get it fixed we'll be ready to rock and roll man it's just things that happen on the job you have no control over you guys we just got done doing the front we're gonna run up to Ameritech like I said I'm gonna show you guys the progress so we already cleaned all this sidewalks we post treated everything just gotta let it dry we're not gonna rinse it had some lines but you know when you post treat it, it'll go away. I'm trying to see if there's a water source nearby uh, so we don't have hook to hook up to the building when we come back. I think I, think, I, think I seen the one walking back here. Cause we still gotta do all these areas here. If not, like I said, we got a bunch of uh, garden hose we should be able to reach. But we'll take a look. So we're gonna go to Ameritech and we'll be back. Hey, check out this new chain I just got, y'all. I'm balling out of control. You wanna order you one? Just come to Ameritech. They got them all in stock. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, man, Aaron is gonna get me right. He's gonna put the belt on for me. I shredded my belt. This is the belt this one uses. And I shredded my boots. <laughs> I was gonna do that on the do it on the job, but I don't I don't know how to adjust it to get it tight. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain. Right. Because uh, you gotta add a hair extension on the belt. Probably about good there, but I may have to loosen it and adjust right. it a little adjust bit. Adjust it up. As you can see, once you start using the tensioner, the pump kicks you sideways. Turn, right, that's when it starts. So then you got to lock the back bolt down on this side, put some tension on it, lock this bolt down tight, and then when you pull the tensioner, because this is locked, it creates a pivot point. Ah, uh, gotcha. So it swings it back around. So I'll go grab a piece of straight uh, flat Bar stock or something like that. Yeah, so yeah. I can line it up, and I'm gonna get it as close to true as possible. All right. In straight. Nice. Alright y'all, we back at the job. Uh that, that downtime put us behind like two and a half hours. We left at actually three hours now. We left at uh 9 30, it's 1230 now. But you guys can see how bright this concrete looks over here. We haven't touched this side yet. The one is gonna hit this little corner right there by the as far as it can go between the courts. He'll knock this area out, just the concrete, not the pavers. I'll start from over here, knock everything out and go as far as I can. We found uh, a fire hydrant that we can get water from, so the tanks will be filled up. And they have another one on the other side. So I'll work as much as I can. If I got, even if I got moved the truck along the side of the sidewalk, we got enough water holes where we can go up to 250 feet. So I doubt that we will have any problem getting any of this stuff done out here.
All right, guys, making good progress. I just got down Post Street and up to this point here. You guys can see the line where we're going. Uh, we got to go pretty much where that sign is over there. I know you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it on the opposite. Actually, yeah, up to that sign. Yeah, we're gonna go up to up to there. There's a sidewalk that goes along there. We still got the next block to do. The one just got up to the truck. Uh, I think I have to post treat his area for him. And then, uh, you know, we'll be wrapped up on this side. We're gonna have to reposition the truck because I only have 200 feet on my, on my uh, hose reel for the 12. So this is how far I could reach, so. Making good progress. All right, guys, we're on the side of the property. Uh, we're gonna knock out, like I said, up to that sign right there. And then um, a few of the little entrances to the court. There's only two of them. The one did the half of one already. We have to do a small one right here. And then um, we'll be wrapped up on this side. We still got the other side to do to the next block. And up to the left side of the property, uh, the amenity center and also the back where the umbrella is. So over here, we're cleaning up to the corner, coming back this way here, going that way, getting all this sidewalks clean. I'm not pre-treating. I think the one is pre-treating with the eight so he can walk or walk faster. Uh, with the 12, I'm not pre-treating, I'm just post-treating. So I stopped right over here so far. Show you guys. See how black the sidewalks look. So this is why I stopped that right here. See the water settles in some of the spots, but I got the post treatment in there, so it'll be fine. We're just gonna go ahead and knock all this section out. this side down here water flow is bad we're not using the actual fire hydrant it's just an outlet on it we got 300 feet of hose one of the hoses that the one has uh, has a hole in it so the flow is not as great so we are running out of water right now so while the water's flowing taking its time we're just gonna wait take a little break where the surface cleaning is up to the corner where I had stopped earlier. We'll clean that with the eight. Once we make it to the back corner by the pool deck, they have a actual um, outlet on the building. Should give us better flow to fill up and uh, be ahead of the game. And then uh, we, when we go do that side over there, we'll, we'll reconnect back to the building for the with the other outlet. So then we won't have to worry about anything. But overall, man, that two, three hour, whatever time we had to postpone the job is uh, catching up to us. But we made it, we made great progress. 
All right, you guys, we're in the back. We just um, hooked up by the pool area. Um, we're gonna clean this sidewalk here, the ones knocking it out with the 12. Um, we didn't wanna put both uh, surface cleaners on it right now because the flow is not that great. Uh, but um, just the one run, uh, run one machine is uh, it's working out pretty good. We already cleaned up the last section up there. This whole section has already been cleaned and post treated. You guys can see how clean this is here. It's drying up nicely. There are some low spots where the water settles, but you know we put the post treatment on there. So hopefully uh, it's not that bad uh, <laughs> once it dries up. I'm pretty sure when it rains, the water settles there, same thing happens. Uh, so we got this one sidewalk where the one is doing right now. Uh, there's another section that goes to the pool, K, uh, pool deck where the gate stops. Once we're done with that, we're gonna go up front and then um, we should be able to use both machines. When you're working on big, big commercial, uh, commercial jobs like this, sometimes water flow is an issue. You know, it is what it is. Luckily, we're able to hook up and work for the most part, instead of having to go fill up over and over. If we did, man, that would definitely add more time to the job. Right, we at the front of the property now. Back to finish up uh, the front sidewalk. Like I said, we're going to the next block. We may have to fill up because that's a far, far uh, distance to reach. Um, that, that that downtown put us behind right now. It is six o'clock. So um, we'll do as much as we can. I still got to do the umbrella back there. A uh, little bit of surface cleaning back there as well as the front monument entrance whatever it's called so um you know it is what it is sometimes you gotta roll the punches and stay positive things happen you know just stay positive and uh it's gonna come through and everything's gonna look great so we're gonna knock out this front area as much as we can and then um whatever's left we just come back it is what it is time now it is eight o'clock at night and we're still out here you guys can see the street lights out here um we're finishing up the front section here only thing we have to do next is the the umbrella and then um the front monument 
I uh, just want to get the front area done so we don't have to worry about it. The one that's finishing up the last of the surface cleaner, we have to use the 19 with the eight because that 12 is taking, um, drinking the water too much. So we're not able to uh, use it, you know what I'm saying, to make it faster. But it is what it is. We'll rinse this up and then uh, we'll be back in a couple of days to do the, the back of the property. It's dark out here, man. Look at this. You can't even see. <laughs> All right, y'all stay tuned. We'll be back in a couple of days to finish up the video. All right, y'all, we back at the commercial job. Um, we left out of here, as you guys saw, 8.15. It was dark, so I couldn't do a full recap. Uh, we're filling up the tanks now so we can get a full two tanks so we can knock out the rest, which is not that much. So let's show you, let's show you guys what everything we've done so far. So this is the front entrance here. Everything is clean on both sides. You can see there's no lines on the concrete, pure white concrete. You can see here, everything is done. Can't beat that at all. They're super happy with the job. So far, we haven't, like I said, we haven't done the back of the building. Has a little area we have to do. They have an umbrella back there. A uh, blue umbrella that needs to be cleaned. And that's pretty much it. And uh, we've already cleaned the sidewalks all the way down to the almost to the next block walk you guys over there this was a whole lot of concrete cleaning but you know so we're getting it done opposite side sidewalk over here See, the sidewalks looks different. They were poured in different times. We cleaned both, but you can see this one's newer concrete. We gotta go up to that where that car just pulled up at. This is where we stopped at. You can see the difference here. I just talked to the property manager. He just asked me to quote from that corner where we stopped earlier all the way up to the gate oh i'm down with it though we can do it we can do it tanks are almost filled up we've only been here for like maybe five minutes not even <laughs> and it's almost coming at the top i can see <laughs> both tanks are filled up to the max already things are flowing <laughs> look at that 300 gallons each right now uh, each tank is 330 gallons but of course you don't get the whole 330 because your boat head sits a little high at the bottom so you lose some uh space but i say i call them 300 even though they're 330s 600 gallons you get a lot of work done let me take you guys around over here this is the corner. They want me to start, start from that corner over there, working back this way. It's gonna be a nice little check again. All right, over here it was super bad, super dirty. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get together now. The one just went to use the restroom. We're gonna go up to the block. I got the half a block. And then um, we'll come and do the back section. And then we may have to fill up and uh, do the monument last. Because the monument is on the way out. So we'll see y'all when we get set up.
got the half a block done. Gonna get the same exact results that we did as the other ones. We post treat it so you see no lines. When it dries, it's gonna be nice and bright. That's what you want. Uh, we're gonna go up there now. We're gonna drive through this grass area so we can get to the back. Knock out that uh, umbrella and some more flat work. And then we'll wrap up with um, doing the monument up front. All right, y'all, we at the back. We're gonna be cleaning right here where this little gazebo thing is. All this sidewalk up to the black gate. This is where we're stopping. We're not going that way. So we're gonna stop at the black gate. We're gonna clean underneath there. All this section here and on this umbrella over here. Wash that down. Thing is sun faded. Uh, we're just gonna hit it with the downstream mix and uh, rinse it. Might have to put a ladder up right there. Shoot across and hit everything and just rinse it down. Same thing hit underneath and rinse it down. Well, this section here is pretty dirty, you guys can see. Should be pretty quick. Last hoorah, and then we got the monument. In the canopy here we already did everything else over here that was supposed to do this is all cleaned up we just got the monument to do up front which is the front sign and then we'll be out of here we find us a good water source that fills up the tanks in like give or take 15 minutes or so so They've been doing that uh, the other day when we were here. You guys can see how dirty this side is, where he's rinsing right now, how clean he's coming out. I mean, here's all the cleaned up. He's looking good, man. Big project, big project. Hopefully we get the rest of it. That would be really, really be cool for both of us. Oh, 
You done hit him, he jumped out of there quick. There's something else up on it though. done just got done cleaning the sign we are out it's 7 52 right now we got we started like around five o'clock it was three hours with the machine down when it came in handy but it is what it is we got it done man shout out to nnl in the building yeah hold up hold up good good, good working right here man hard worker you know what I'm saying? A lot of, I needed that help, man. I, I, if I was doing it by myself, I, I'd be here for a couple days, easily. <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoyed. See what? Yeah, easily. Yeah, easily. A couple of days, two days, two full days, I can get it done. I'd rather get it done in one, though. <laughs> All right, man. I'm done. I'm gonna get us some, probably get some dilly dillies. I'll take one tonight. Woo, go get some dilly dillies, man. Go yeah, go straight. All right, man. We'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.